Hi there, I am Runs with Scissors, and this bear thing beside me is one of those new guys that moved into the neighborhood recently. I'm not a new guy. I'm civilized, you filthy savage. Let us think. You don't bathe, you treat illness with leeches and you let your clothes basically rot on your body and you call me a savage? Whatever. Um, I have no response to that. Moving in along. My people and I were minding our own business. We saw ships on the horizon. We met the newcomers with offers of food and friendship, but they were here to plunder and conquer. They only cared for themselves. They tricked us out of our land and killed many of my people with diseases. Wait. Not all of that is true. We made deals with you savages for your land and we traded our goods for your goods. You just kept stealing them back when you wanted them. That is because we see ownership as being able to share something with the other person, while you selfish pigs see it only as being able to use an item instead of someone else. I thought I was a bear thing. Now you say I am a pig. Thanks for the identity crisis. You. Savage. Savage. Yeah, you're so original. We had a great culture where a chief, council, and shaman led the tribe. Some tribes even had a peace chief and a war chief. We worship nature and our ancestors. We created clay pottery, stone tools and weapons, and lived in harmony and peace with nature. We taught our children our legends through songs and stories. What kind of culture is that? We came over and succeeded after the Spanish and French had failed so many times before us. We English selected a site for Charles Town that had a deep, natural harbor. We built houses using the wattle and orb style. We did have to move the colony when we ran out of land, but that could happen to anyone. We may have not been totally honest in the deer skin trade, which you could technically say started a couple of wars with tribes like the Yemi, Si and the Kiriki, but we brought civilization to you savages. What you brought was alcohol, diseases, death, and cheap trinkets, like junky beads and mirrors. You traded this junk to us for valuable land, furs, and food. And when we refused to buy from you, you stole and cheated to get your way. That seems harsh. I mean honestly, I cannot fault your logic but it still seems harsh. Then in the 1800s when you became very established you forced my people onto reservations and even made our children cut their hair, go to boarding schools and lose our language and culture. See, we civilized you. You should be thanking us. When this camera cuts off, I'm going to kill you. Aho.